but we're rewarded for that tonight. And uh, we've been rewarded for that all season. And for us to be able to withstand a guy like Yasu Worku going down and uh, being unable to play for a few games but still compete at the level we've competed is because of the sacrifices that Rob made coming in and all the team made to accept him and, and work together. That's an unusual um, that's an unusual thing to have happen in college basketball, and I'm really proud of this group for that. We'll go right here in the front row. Russ, in that final minute, you're clapping and looking out into the crowd. What's going through your mind as you were taking in the moment? You know, just a, just a great feeling of appreciation, uh, which which I you know talk to our players about. You know, that, I mean, you know. I, I get to, I'm, I'm so fortunate to get to do what I do for a living, where I do it, with the guys I do it with, and to see the impact that our team's performance has on this community um, by looking out and seeing, you know, everywhere I looked, there were Irvine people. I don't, there wasn't an Irvine section tonight. The whole place was filled with Irvine people, and uh, everybody looked like they just couldn't wait to celebrate. I felt that a little bit, but it was, uh, the celebration was always chaotic. In that moment, it was really, you know, just an opportunity I took to to recognize that these guys have impacted a lot of people in this community, and that's really, really fun. And the gentleman in the back here in the check shirt. Joe Reedy, Associated Press. For all three of you, with the winning streak, 30 wins, you find out your tournament destination tomorrow. How dangerous of a team do you think you guys can be? Coach, I'll start with you. Well, we'll see. You know, um, Gallo's been to the NCAA tournament before. You know, one of the things you have to do is, is believe that you can go there and succeed. I don't think anybody will take us lightly when we have 30 wins next to our name and we have the type of win streak that we have. Now, sometimes that's what you need a little bit is for a team to look past you. Uh, but this team has special qualities, and uh, we're going to try to go and compete and perform. And, um, put our best performance out there like we try to do through this tournament. That's what we're going to do. Jonathan and Max, you guys, any thoughts? I mean, we're a confident group. You know, we're really deep. We, we got guys that can come in and contribute at every, at every position. So we're looking forward to whoever we face. And we know our season's not over yet. We're still trying to make history, and we're going to go for it. Yeah, and just to piggyback off what JG said, you know, this is one of my favorite teammates I've ever played with. And I know he's a senior, so we're going to try to keep this train going as long as we can. We're going to go Mark and then Jill. Russell, well, so you've got a lot of uh, good DNA on this team. you got Walt as a grandson. you got the son <laughs> yeah. of Ron Butler and Spencer Rivers and Chris Bell. Can you quantify how much that means when you have guys who have kind of grown up in that atmosphere of excellence and how that translates? Yeah, it's hard to you know, say specifically what that means. But when I came to Irvine, I said we wanted to recruit international players. And I thought we also um, were in a particularly good spot to recruit the sons of NBA players. And the first guy I signed was Chris McNeely. His dad played in the NBA and worked with me at the Warriors. And he ended up being an all-conference player um, and was really undervalued. And, and that's what I had seen in my experience before. I coached Dan Grunfeld, who's Ernie Grunfeld's son at Stanford. Um, obviously, everybody knows about Steph and Seth Curry being underrated and developing late. And, you know, I like the challenge of basketball dads who are going to look critically at how our program runs. I like that. I like that accountability. Um, and I think that I recruited some really um, special and demanding families into this group. And I'm proud of our performance. I'm proud of. Uh, the support we've gotten. And, and I think that's something that we can continue to build on um, because I know how critically these guys all want to shine in their own light. And, and that's true about each of the guys you mentioned, Max, Spencer, Colin, and JC. Jill, go ahead. Coach, you said that afterwards we left no doubt. What kind of meaning or importance uh, does that have not just to win, but to win in the way you did as you performed? I think it means a lot to our team um, to perform the way that we did, because the narrative that we hear all the time is that anybody 
can win the Big West tournament. And we'd also heard that we had not been able to win it. And sometimes the media just does that. They just try to find negative stuff to drive into you or fans or whatever. And that's just a reality that we face. Um, and I'm not complaining about that. You know, <laughs> but we did something special this year going 15-1 and one in the league, and we know that. And uh, for the first part of the league, everybody was saying that everybody was equal, and we didn't feel like that necessarily was the case. So we wanted to make a statement with our performance throughout the season, especially on the road where we were undefeated, and then we wanted to validate that here in the tournament. And uh, most of the speeches I ended this week were about leaving no doubt. But I usually use an additional word. <laughs> We're going to go, last question is going to be in the third row in the middle there. Uh, can you guys describe uh, what this tournament win means not only to the program, but also to just UC Irvine as a whole, as a community, as a school and everything? You know, we're one of the top uh, public schools in the nation, but at the same time, we're still like overlooked in many aspects. So what does this mean not only to the program, but to everybody that attends UC Irvine? Max, why don't you take that first? The students. Uh, it means a lot, uh, especially, you know, being the only team in California, I think that's going to be in the state tournament. That's, uh, that's pretty cool and pretty special, and I'm sure nobody expected that at the beginning of the season, except for us. You know, we, we knew this was one of our goals, and, and we also had many more. And, uh, you know, just for the university, it's a special thing. You know, we all wanted to come to UC Irvine because it's a world-class education. But, uh, you know, being able to hoop and, and get some wins and, and have a good time is really special as well. Jonathan? Yeah, it's big for our whole community and our school, you know, being able to do this for the second time in history, you know, that, that just speaks for itself. You know, there's, there's been a lot of hard work and dedication that our whole team, you know, coaches, players, staff, managers that have put into this. And we're happy that, you know, our, our community can be proud of us and our school can be proud of us. Coach, anything to add? Yeah, I mean, College basketball provides a special opportunity for a school like ours that, that does exist on a worldwide scale and compete, you know, at an incredible level in everything we do. But I grew up in Roanoke, Virginia. I didn't know what UC Irvine was. But a lot of people will see us in the bracket and learn more about our great university because of what we've been able to accomplish. And that's special for the university uh, because what that means is we fit in. You know, we, we're, we're performing at a, a level of excellence that matches the level of excellence that's consistent at UC Irvine. I'm proud of that. Okay, with that, we're going to let them go. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Thank you. and good luck next week. Thank you. Thank you.